is 36. Jonah? What was 16? 16. Should have been less than. Forever. Uh, what was 6? 6 is 7. Brody? Uh, what was number 12? Number 12 is the associative property of addition. So you? 15 would be 420. You do all the steps here. John? Was two and three. Two was 36 words per minute. Three is 18 students. Trevor? Five. Five is 190 minutes. Great. For 15, do I have to write down the properties where they are? Sure. Why not? Uh, you don't have to just give me a chance to do that. Okay. Caroline? Now, with that being said, Carolina asks a question here for those of you that are new and those of you that are old, a little review for you tomorrow. I do let, especially in 7th and 8th grader, you bring a piece of paper that has notes specifically for this test. I don't let you have to use your book or your three-ring binder or those notes, but generally speaking, what most people do, especially when you get in 7th and 8th grade, is they grab a blank piece of paper that has all the homework squares in it. And as I go over problems, they jot little notes themselves, like for problem number, what's Carolina asked about problem, which one? Six. If you got problem number six wrong in the box for problem number six, you would write, well, make sure you do this, or don't forget to do this, or blah, 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 because tomorrow's test is very much identical in the processes, just using different numbers. So it's always amazed and baffled me how people don't have any questions on the pretest, and then when it comes test time, they miss like six or seven problems. And I'm like, that's interesting because they're pretty much the same exact problem. Plus, I'm allowing them to write down, you know, write down please make sure you multiply or divide or all that sort of stuff. So that's my words of wisdom to you. Carolina asked about problem number six. Did you, Carolina? Was that the one? So here, as we take a look at problem number six, Carolina. <coughs> A question I have of you, do you happen to do any sketching of anything? Draw any pictures? Nothing. So you just looked at it and said, this is how I'm going to do this. This is what I would do, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to draw all of these, but you know you have this. You have a river. Not a bad river, I would say myself. On this side over here, you have 80 cars. So you don't have to do all 80. Just know that you've got 80 of them there. And you have a boat, a barge a ferry, if you will, and on this thing you can carry 12 cars at a time. The thing asks, how many trips would it take you to get all 80 cars across? So you're asking how many groups are in 80, right? Which is what type of problem, Carolina? If you're looking to separate 80 into groups of 12, what do you do there? Add, subtract, multiply, or divide? Divide with 80. And here's the issue with that. How many times does 12 go into 80? Well, 5 times is 60, 6 times is 72. But the deal is this, after the 6th trip, there's a remainder of 8, there are 8, count them, 8 cars still left over here. So 6 trips is not enough. You have to make one more trip to get even if it's only 8 cars across. So that's where the answer 7 comes across. And if I were to do the 7th grade person and I got that wrong on the pretest, I would definitely put a note on problem number six on my notes. And you can't use your pretest for notes. It has to be something that Caroline is doing there. I would say make sure that you put that extra trip to take those extra people because that would just be helpful. Again, just me. I know sometimes there's not much traffic on the extra mile. Brody, what can I do for you, sir? What was the answer to number 15? Number 15 was 420. 420. Sydney. Number nine. nine was 33 milliliters. Lily. 18 was $30. 24 cents. Sydney. That's the kind of questions I like to hear. You will see that little sign here. What is this sign? Everybody read that together. Even Einstein asked questions. Einstein, supposedly the greatest mathematician in the world, he asked questions. This one, okay, I'll ask you the same question. Did you happen to sketch anything out or draw anything or try to figure something out by looking at pictures? All right, it might not be too bad of a thing there. Here's what I would do if it was me. 
I know there's 24 cards in each box. So I've got a box here. What's inside of it? 24 cards. There are 120 of these, 120 of them, and I don't necessarily think you need to draw all 120 of them, but in each one of those boxes, there's 120 of these things, and there are 24 in each one of those. How many would I have all together? Well, you can do it a couple ways. You could probably take 24 and add it together 120 times, or you could probably do what? 120 times 24. Yeah, just 120 times 24. Which is what? 480 and 0 to 40. Yeah, looks like 2880. What did you get for an answer? Five, because I divided by five. Yeah, does that make sense that you're going to have five cards if you do that program? So far. And I have to assume that if there were only two questions, that those were the only two this entire class got wrong. That's kind of my assumption, which, knowing what I know about some of you, I find that harder to do than not. See, Carolina, if this was me doing it, those notes you're taking, I'd write them in box number four. So it was problem number four that I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? So it would just be easy for you to say, oh, there's problem four, I look on four, and the case of it. Anna Baumgartner, I'm here for you. What can I do for you? Number five. That's a good one as well. Miguel has 400 minutes of prepaid service on his phone, which is something unheard of in the day. Nobody has prepaid stuff. He's used the phone three and a half hours this month. How many prepaid minutes are left? Well, this is how many he's used, right, Anna? The problem with that is this is in minutes and this is in hours. So you need to change three and a half into minutes. How am I going to change three and one half hours to minutes? How many minutes in one hour? 60. So you could, this wouldn't be so bad just to do this. Here's three hours, and then there's another half an hour, which is 30 minutes, and just add those together. Or 60 times 3 is 180, plus the other 30. You've used 210 out of 400. What type of problem? How are you going to see how many you have left? Multiply them. Add them, divide them, but no. You have four hundred dollars and you spent two hundred ten of them. How many do you have left? Yeah, that's a subtraction problem. Four hundred minutes is what you started with. Two hundred ten is what you've got left. You're going to end up with that one hundred ninety minutes of air time left. Is anybody still buying minutes? Two paid minutes. So, John does? My dad does, besides me. Any other questions out there in the wonderful world of mathematical? Carolina. Number two on the table, ladies and gentlemen. Number two. Ryan Riza, Risa, Risa, type 260 words in six minutes. She typed an average of how many words per minute? Can else get this one wrong? No, I guess not. Carolina, I'm going to ask you this question here. What does the word per mean? What does the word per mean? Gallons per hour, miles per hour, words per minute? Problems per hour, problems per minute. In math, like the word of means to multiply. The word per means who? Out of nope. The word per actually is a division sign. It means this. Words. Here's the word per. Per is that fraction line. Words per minute. That's what this is. Words per minute. It's a division problem thing. And if you plug in, if you plug in what you know, there's 216 words per six minutes to find the answer to how many there is per one minute, you just divide that out. This is 216 divided by six. 216 divided by six, that's 180 and 36. So this is, it's 
36 words per one minute. But you don't usually write it like that. When you do miles per hour, usually you just do it like 36 WPM, words per minute, words per minute, words per minute, words per minute. So if you see that word per, it's like all the times, per means it's going to be a division that probably. Wow, I'm glad you got those out of the way. There's some tough intermittos. Or burritos. Enchiladas. Tostada. Sydney! For 17 through 20, you have to solve them with that. 17 through 20, what do you mean do you have to solve them? You have to get right. Simplify means to solve it to the answer. You actually have to do that. You have to multiply that. You have to divide that. You have to multiply or or you want to divide. So you have to hit it down to one number. Simplify means make it as simple as it can go, and the answer is as simple as it can go. excited about this test. Anybody else on the bandwagon on this? The way you want to start to come up. Anybody else? Anybody else? Oh, no. Three times. Three times. I sold. A lady in the 